Hi, I'm Clive Pierce. Welcome to Wine 1-1. No stranger to hot air myself. Here I am in this lovely balloon, high above the Napa Valley, enjoying the fabulous view. Everyone looks like a little tiny ant. Ah. Okay, we're just framed to here, right? I'm Clive Pierce, and I know next to nothing about how to order, pick, or drink the right wine for the right occasion. I am a complete novice. So let's start from square one together, and I promise you, whatever I find out, I'll pass on to you. We're here at the Oakville Grocery Store in Napa, California. Let's find out what these shoppers know about wine, or better still, what they don't know. Now, let's see what they have. Oh, $84.95. Reassuringly expensive, I like that. Must be good. Oh, Testarossa, that sounds a bit raunchy. I wonder if you can tell by looking at the label whether it's expensive. May I sniff your Munster? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Fabulous. Show me your salami. All right. Look at this wonderful, proud, crusty shaft. This is delicious. So you've got some salami, some ham, some mm -hmm. cheese. What would, uh, what wine would I buy to go with this? I would go with the red wine. What's the story of your basket? What are you doing? Putting a little uh, dinner together for my wife. My friends are throwing a party, and I just don't know much about it. Now, why did you choose this wine, this one in particular? I know my wife likes red. I like the display. Shall we look at the price? Sure. They won't appreciate it. No. How long have you known these people? A couple of years. Oh, flush them. If you had one simple wine question, what would it be? Does a wine have to be expensive to be good? The price is not an indication of it's good. You really have to taste it and see if you like it. Is there one wine question that you could really need asking? Does wine go with any kind of food? Does wine go with any food? That puts me kind of on a mission. Let's go find out. So Michael, just to help you out, think of me as a wine simpleton, which is actually true, but I didn't need to mention that. The wine people who don't know anything are often confused. What do you find are some of the, the most common myths about wine? No red wine with fish, that's a big one. You know, I mean, light red wines like Pinot Noir are perfect with fish dishes like salmon. Interesting. Big full-bodied red wines that only need to be with cheese or steak. You know, these work well with lighter dishes too. Give me another myth, what do people think? Um, you know, port wine and cheese. You know, we do, you know, cheeses with all kinds of different wines. What I always like to do is if you're having a group of people over, a little bit of white, a little bit of red, a little bit of sweet wine with dessert, keep a little bit of everything for your cheese plate. Overall question. Sure. Can you drink wine with absolutely anything at all? Anything at all. Anything at all? My favorite wine meals are with great wines and burgers, great wines and pizza. So anything at all, whatever you're shoving in your mouth, you can have a glass of wine. Yeah, absolutely. Fascinating. Yep. There's nothing, ice cream? Sure, sweet white wines and ice cream, perfect. Ribs, perfect. Everything. Zinfandel, petite sirah and ribs, perfect. All right, let's put that to the test right now. Pocahontas, your lunch is ready. Leah. Leah? Cheers. 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 <laughs> so you've just poured me a glass of Sauvignon Blanc, light white wine, um, very fruity, citrusy. <sighs> I say. Now tell me if I'm right or wrong. I'm getting earthy, flinty, toasty, big tart, gravel, kitty litter. No, not good. So this is a good wine with things like the fish tacos here. The word that springs to mind is relief, because that is so spicy. A little bit, right? That I'm, I'm happy to have this big, fat tart. Is this a wine? that we can have with, what is this called? Poop dog. What is it called? Corn dog. Corn dog. Why does this go so well with this? By the way, this goes so well with this. It's amazing, isn't it, how the wine changes with the food? It becomes less of that, like, sharp, citrusy acid that we had when we had it alone, and now it's a little bit softer and rounder. Yes. It's amazing. Yes. Yeah. That's now, how great wine and food matches are. 
they work together. So this is Infidel. Noticeably, it's a red wine, obviously. Full-bodied, spicy. What should we do with this naughty little thing? Well, let's try it with the sweet potatoes. Okay, first of all, this seems to have like a kick of alcohol to it. Sure. Here, here, I'll hold your bun. <laughs> um, it's funny to sit here drinking two very delicious wines with fries and burgers and you yeah. would think of this with lobster or with a, a fancy dinner, or, but it really it's, it's anything. Well, no one eats lobster and fancy dinners every night. That's true. Right. That's so true. great wine with normal food is really what it's all about. On low carb diet. Fabulous. Honestly, you've shown me you can drink wine with absolutely anything, and I intend to at every single meal. How about breakfast tomorrow? Now, I'm about to join in a wine connoisseur's dinner party. This is where those in the know come to enjoy the best of the vino. So the question is, do they really know what they're talking about? Or are they just peddling poo? Let's find out, shall we? Hello, good evening. Oh, bless it. Lovely. I'm going for the little, tell me what this is again. This that is, is a salmon riette, and um, I would recommend that with the white, with the Chardonnay that you have in your glass. First of all, you often think about seafood or, or fish going, going with a white wine. There's no real hard and fast rules anymore. So that little fish moment was delightful with that one. That's Fantastic. That's Why is it suddenly all right to drink screw Because the technology is much better. Something like 95% of wine in this country is drunk within four hours of purchase. So if you're not going to age your wine, you may as well not worry about a cork. I would recommend that the uh, shiitake mushroom you try with the, the middle red. And what is the middle red? The middle red is a Cabernet Sauvignon. It's about 82% Cabernet. I understand that this wine goes awfully well with a corn dog. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So don't hold it by the bowl because no. the warmth of my British hands will ruin it. Yeah, the hot hands. She just swirled all of it. Okay. I like your noisy, unattractive technique. Because that sort of... <laughs> How's that? Okay, so we've, we've tried this lovely mushroom concoction. Correct. And that, a great pairing. Can I then go back of to the... Of course. Really, I don't think anything will go badly. It's just some things are classically considered to pair better. If you're eating food you like and drinking wine you like with people you like, you're probably fine. Why do people think, people who know about wine are wine snobs? Why, why does this snobbery word keep coming up? If you genuinely like wine and you think about food and wine going together, you're not going to be snobby about it. It's just something you care about. Let's do a toast to encourage people who know nothing to feel good. Cheers. Stuff the rules. Lovely. You know, I feel like I've learned so much today. It's frightening, actually. Walking through the vineyards with Michael, really getting to grips with how wine is made. Hanging out at a busy lunchtime at Taylor's, mingling with the public, and really getting to grips with pairings. Some very interesting pairings going on, and I'm not talking about the wine. Well, the good news is, you know, this wine or any wine will go with absolutely any food. We've proven that today, time and time again. Pull your corks out proudly. Gulp with gusto. And if you're not quite sure what to do, you can always dial wine one one. Cheers. So this is very good news. I can drink wine with anything. A ho ho. The ding dong could go with a red. The corn dolly. No, the corn dog would go with a a cab cabernet. Anything. It's so easy. Oh!